Hey, it's time for Uber Grace. I hope you're feeling uberlicious today. I want to follow up from yesterday a little bit and wondering what defines you? What is it in your life, what is it about you that you kind of make your identity from? Is it your past? Is it how you look? Maybe how you look reflects how you are inside, what you're into? I don't know. Well, how do you identify yourself? What's helpful is, in the beginning of the book of Ephesians, the writer there, a chap called Paul, says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. So you can see the generosity of the great I Am here, the generosity of identity himself, that he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. And I want to remember that this is written in a whole other language that doesn't exist now. It's a long, old language, a long time ago. And the word that's used for blessed here is a different word that's used in other places. It's used in a few places, but it's not the usual word. The word here is the word eulogos, which we get our English word eulogy from. Now, you know, a eulogy generally is something that is spoken at a funeral when somebody speaks well of the person that's died. So here, because Jesus has died, God is speaking well in a, in a blessing. He's speaking blessings into our life. Not just a few or one or two, but God has already spoken every spiritual blessing over our lives in heavenly places. Now don't forget, heavenly places, spiritual, they're all synonymous. It's the spiritual realm, the spirit world, the, the heavenly realm, whatever you want to call it. And that's inside of us. It's everywhere. We, you know, we're just physical beings that have been slowed down to uh, to this so we can see each other the spirit is massive it's huge it, it's beyond description and like you would with a child i explained in one of my first videos about how we used to speak well of the children see them well and speak well of them as much as we was humanly possible when i worked in the children's home and they would rise to it, they would rise to it. There was no, well, there was criticism sometimes, but generally we tried to put the positives into them. And this is what God has done for us. He's not angry with us. He's not waiting to trip us up. He's not some angry guy on a throne waiting to zap us with lightning. He is love. He is holy. He is identity. He is separate to what we can imagine him to be. That's all holy means. And... He has spoken well, wellness, truth, positivity, blessing is a positive thing. You know that. He has spoken this over everybody. Every spiritual blessing in heavenly places has been spoken over you. He loves you. He's rooting for you to live your best life, to live that life that is just that freedom within you. He's living that, he's loving you for that. He's backing you for that. Because he's blessed you, he's spoken over you with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. And those places are in you, they're around you. It's accessible, it's there for you. Hope this has been helpful and encouraging. If so, please share, please like and love and make a comment. See you soon. Bye now.